Officials and residents in Fukushima are faced with the daunting task of cleaning up radioactive fallout from the 2011 nuclear accident. NHK has learned at least a thousand homes in three towns will be demolished even after they were decontaminated. Local officials are calling on the government to run the decontamination program more efficiently. NHK took a poll in nine Fukushima municipalities that remained partly or completely evacuated. Officials from three towns said about 1,080 houses are scheduled to be torn down despite being decontaminated as requested by residents. Naraha Town reports the largest number at around 870 homes. Officials say rain leaks and animal intrusions are damaging the vacant residences. They also say many evacuees have given up on returning and found new homes instead. The government pays for both decontamination and demolition programs in evacuation areas. Officials say decontamination takes about two weeks and costs about $8,300 per house on average. We are still accepting many requests for decontamination from local governments. We will try to complete the decontamination and demolition work in a more efficient way. Local officials say cleaning a house and then knocking it down is a waste of time and money. They're calling on the government to run the program more efficiently and speed up decontamination work. People at Japan's car makers figure sometimes the best way to get ahead is to work with each other rather than against each other. Executives at Toyota, Nissan and Honda have decided to team up to promote eco-friendly fuel cell vehicles. They say they'll all chip in some of the money needed to run hydrogen fueling stations. Toyota executives introduced the world's first commercial fuel cell car in December. Those at Honda and Nissan say they're working on their own models. But they're worried there aren't enough fuel stations around the country to make the new cars viable. They hope to encourage firms to build more by offering to shoulder some of the operating costs. They say they're still deciding how to split the bill, but they'll work out the fine print by the middle of the year.